Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today I'm going to be showing you a little eBird hack, a way to get some more statistics about your eBird data, the birds you've seen and where you've seen them. And so this is for people who have an eBird account, they've been using it, they have some data in there. If you don't have an eBird account, we've made a couple videos on how to use eBird. Feel free to check those out and then come back to this at a later date. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go to birdstat.com. And this is something that was created by Zach. Uh, Poland, Pollen, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, P-O-H-L-E-N, so thanks so much Zach for creating this. Go to birdstat.com, it'll give you a welcome and it says a tool to visualize and summarize your personal eBird data. So the first thing you have to do is go to my eBird and click download my data and then click submit and then eBird will send you an email. It says it can, uh, if you don't get it within 24 hours, you know, make sure you have a valid email address and um, all that stuff, check your spam, things like that. But I've already did this, so it came pretty quickly, but it's all ready to go for us. But we'll go to eBird and show you how to do it if you didn't do it already. So we'll go to eBird.org, then we'll go to My eBird. On the left side over here, we'll hit Download My Data, and then you can hit Submit. So it'll send me another one, but that's okay. So in uh, my email, I already have the data that they sent, and so then you would download this as well before going to BirdStat. So now we have that, we'll hit dismiss at the bottom. Then on the left side here where it says upload eBird CSV or zip file, we will take the zip file that they sent us, hit the download button here on the right, then we'll move that to the desktop just to make it a little bit more easy to find. Okay, we'll hit browse, desktop, and then myeberdata.csv. So now it's gonna take all that eBird data and kind of summarize it into a way where you can visualize it in a really cool way. So here we have uh, an overall summary, so the total amount of species I've seen, the total individual birds, 138,368 birds, that's a lot of birds. Uh, total bird families, 83, the proportion of all bird families seen, so just a lot of cool data you can check out. And the whole website is filled with this. So this is just the, um, like the checklist summary. If we go to location summary, we can see like the places that you've submitted checklists. Your comparison is how many birds you've seen per year, like total species, individuals, uh, the distance you've traveled, that's really neat. Average minutes per stationary checklist. Um, we can go to species summary, um, see how many species you've seen and how many individuals you've seen. Red winged blackbird, 285. Total individuals counted laughing gull, 12,641. <laughs> that's a lot of laughing gulls. Canada goose, 12,628. It's a lot of hissing Canada geese. Herring gull, brown pelican, snow goose, yeah. High numbers of snow geese, that's kind of funny. Uh, different hybrids that you've seen. Uh, subspecies, myrtle yellow rumped warblers, crested caracara, dark-eyed junco, slate colored. You can go to breeding codes and explore different things. Um, family summary, so like the um, different families, like. A lot of these are hard to pronounce, but the different families you can check out. Uh, ABA summary, how many species you've seen in the ABA area, that's pretty neat. And then we can also go to explore species. So if we look at like, it's a bird I've seen a lot. Well, apparently I've seen a lot of Canada geese. So let's type in Canada goose if I can type. Canada goose. So it shows me all the places I've seen Canada geese. Like that's pretty cool. What was... Snow Goose was another one. That's probably going to be a little more restricted. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. And then we can go to calendar and it shows you like where you bird or like what days you bird more often. That's pretty unique. And then we have graphs. So this is total checklist submitted. That's really neat too. Uh, species accumulation. I think this is probably one of my favorite ones. So it shows you like how you've gotten more life birds over time. And so this big bump was my Costa Rica trip. <laughs> and you can see how it just like totally leapt up a ton. 
that's pretty funny. It's cool to visualize it. I like having all this extra data. Um, big days you can look at, breeding codes. So I'd encourage you to download your Uber data and just take a look. It's pretty, pretty cool. Maps is neat too. Um, so these, I think this is all the places I've submitted checklists, which is really cool. Uh, you can also select the US state map and you can show how many species you have in each state, which is a feature that eBird already shows, but then you can do it by county too. So you can see like your individual counties where you've submitted checklists. So that's, uh, it's kind of funny because if you have like a state filled in, you're like, I filled in that state, but then when you look at counties, you're like, man, I haven't been anywhere. So you can see the difference there too. And then it has updates that they've done and there's a support thing. And so just wanted to give a little introduction to this. You can play around with it. Um, look at your statistics and uh, it's pretty cool. So that's that's my little eBird hack of the day using BirdStat to look at your data. So let me know if you tried this in the past, what you think, or uh, if you're gonna try it in the future. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.